Welcome to Spirituality Spots with Sister Kathy. And I pray that each of you had a beautiful and peace-filled Easter. The second Sunday of Easter, we celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday. And as followers of Jesus, we are encouraged in this feast to offer forgiveness and reconciliation. This feast is based on visions recorded by St. Faustina Kowalski, a nun that was uh, cloistered in Poland. And in 2000, April of 2000, St. John Paul II declared Faustina a saint and declared this second Sunday of Easter her feast day celebration. And it is known in the church as a solemnity, which as we've talked about before, is a special feast in the church. We remember that after Easter, Christ appeared to his disciples on several occasions. He also appeared to St. Faustina and asked her to pray a novena for nine days, beginning with Good Friday and ending the Saturday after Easter. And we call this next day after Saturday, Divine Mercy Sunday. That's when the feast was born. Simply speaking, Divine Mercy is another name uh, for the magnificent love of God, which culminates in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. And so we are asked this week to think about the deep love and mercy that Jesus has on each one of us. We are asked to trust in God's loving providence and trust in God's will for our lives. And in so doing, we will be able to, to those that we minister with in our offices, in our families, in our friendships, and even in creation. Minister in such a way that we are able to forgive and have trust and have mercy on others, just as Jesus does with us. If you haven't heard the song by Andy Severin uh, regarding God's mercy, he wrote this song and sang it for the year of mercy, which was a few years back. And it's a beautiful song. You might want to look it up on the internet. May we all be challenged this week and, and have a renewed trust and mercy in Jesus. Think of the many times that you have been forgiven by people in your life. And think about, especially in the sacrament of reconciliation that perhaps you received um, before the Easter Triduum. Think about how very much God has forgiven you and how we are asked to do the same. Maybe you can offer God's divine mercy to someone in your life. I find oftentimes I to the Divine Mercy Chaplet, the recording that I found on the internet, and it's a beautiful rendition of this prayer of St. Faustina. I love to use this prayer. It can be very meditative and helpful, especially when you're having a day that you just wonder where everything is going. These are beautiful prayers that we can say. You know, look up on the internet, the Divine Mercy Chaplet, if you haven't done so already. I know many of our parishes pray it and have their church doors open at 3 p.m. every day. Some people pray it on EWTN, but it's a beautiful prayer to reflect on the deep love and mercy and trust that God has in you. May you have a blessed week this second Sunday of Easter. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me this week, and may God bless you.